Hi, my name is Jerry and I am the Chainmail Guy and today I'm going to show you how to make a dragonfly out of some butter knives and a railway spike. There, that looks way better, nice and clean. Oh my goodness. The next step is to clamp these two together and to run these across the belt grinder or the uh, uh, the bench grinder and then the belt sander to bring these edges to the same length and to clean up the corners. So we will go off camera for a moment. And make some noise. There, got them clamped together. They are now going to be ground and cut the same. And we're back. You can see now that these are nicely ground and cut to the same length. We're going to set them aside and do the second set. Now it's good to take note of, you can see that one set is going to be longer than the other. This is the ones we just did are the shorter set. Those will be the rear wings. Now we clamp these two together in the same fashion. And I'm going to make some noise off camera. And now these ones have a nice clean edge. So these are prepped. Next step is to prep the feet. The feet have two bends in them. Each bend is at a 45 degree angle. The head of the nail is going to be the foot. And the trick to making sure that uh, you have consistent bends is to use the same tool all the time and grab the piece the same way every time. What I do is, at the point where the, the bevel on the point ends, I grip just at the edge of that. This, this point here, is now where my first bend is going to be. This is going to be the bend closest to the body. I then grab it here, make a bend here, that's where the second joint is. So I can actually press this against a, a corner on my vise, and actually force these nails to bend. So there we go. We have two 45 degree angles and we can see that the nail is still fairly straight in this direction. Those are done. Next, let's put on some wings. Start with front wings. <coughs> the front wings are the larger wings. Now the beauty of this project is no matter how many times you make them, you don't have to make them all the same. As a matter of fact, you can't make them all the same because 
your wings will be different. So making precise measurements is not really necessary. Okay, we've got these clamped. They sit pretty much in the center of the, of the nail. They're fairly perpendicular. To the nail, let's throw in a couple of spot wells. The, uh, uh, the beating that happened back here, and then we can put the second set of wings on. There are some BBs that landed on the on the wings. There is a way to make sure that whatever lands on the wings doesn't stick. There's a special oil that you can smear on. Uh, I've heard some fillers use uh, cooking spray. Petroleum jelly also does the trick. Just a tiny little bit. You smear it wherever you don't want the BBs to stick. probably see that there are BBs along the bottom wings but not sticking to the top wings. I forgot to lube the bottom wings. That'll have to be cleaned off. The front legs are going to be at the front of the first set of wings. The middle legs between the two and the back legs at uh, behind the back wings. You can test your welds by giving the legs a bit of a bend. Ultimately, you'll want to wait until the piece is cool before you start bending the legs too much. What I should do now is clean up the welds by brushing them off. And there you have one finished dragonfly. Thanks for watching.